Welcome to the channel, guys. I'm Kyler. This is Michael. He came along. There he is, the tall giant himself. We uh, are at the zoo again. Well, I'm at the zoo again. He just tagged along this time. But we had a kind of an off day, and so we wanted to go just hang out around the zoo, check out the animals, take some photos. We have this rule where we, um, we kind of switch off on our zoo days, where if we go to the zoo one day with our camera, we take a day off the next time, the we, next visit. time we visit. Exactly. And so this time's his day off. Last time was my day off, so I've got the camera. And uh, right now we're actually gonna go see the flamingos. The flamingos had a baby. And it is one of the freaking cutest things. I'm sorry about the construction noise. They're building stuff here. But uh, hold on just a second. <laughs> Like I was saying before the construction so rudely interrupted us, the flamingos had a baby and it is just one of the most freaking adorable things ever. Here, look, look at this. Can you see him? Can you see him hiding over there on one leg, the little gray little guy? Last time I was here, he was just a little baby. He was still, like his mother was still sitting on him even though he had hatched. But he's so cute, wait, here, here he comes. The flamingos, like, they just finished nesting a little while back. Last time I was here, they still had their mounds built up, but now they have been torn down. All the babies have hatched. I mean, just look at that guy. He's so cute. Going back to me and Mike's rule about our cameras, how we go to the zoo one day with our cameras and then we take a day off. It all comes down to resting and then also enjoying yourself. If you don't take the time to just do something you love for you every once in a while, you're gonna get burnt out. You're gonna get tired of taking your camera everywhere. And that's no fun because we love doing this stuff. It just can take so much creative energy sometimes. You gotta relax, you gotta rest. That was cool if you heard that. Right now, me and Mike are uh, we're heading to what's called, what the zoo calls Raptor Canyon. It's uh, where they keep all the big eagles and hawks and condors and some other vultures. Last time I was here, the time I didn't bring my camera, of course, they actually were active. Like one was um, eating, like I saw him eating intestines. I saw him eating intestines because they had just fed them lunch and they had like a rat for lunch or something. Land ho! I know I sound kind of sad about the fact that I didn't have my camera last time I was going to Raptor Canyon. And I am a little bit because I've never seen some of the birds do what they did. Never seen them eating. I've never seen them so active. And so I, I'm kind of sad that I missed that opportunity. Even though I'm a little bit sad that I didn't get pictures that much last time. I took a couple on my iPhone, but that's different. It was really cool to just sit and enjoy the, uh, the birds, just seeing what they did, you know, just seeing them walk and seeing them be. It was an interesting thing that, that I, again, it hasn't ever happened that much. So it was cool to just rest and see it happen. Oh my gosh. I used to have a chicken like that. That was cool. The birds are eating. <laughs> look, look. He's tearing that rat's head off. <laughs> or is that another bird? It, I thought it was a rat last time I was here. It's definitely not a, well. It could be, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of fuzz underneath. Which I have no idea. I don't know either. Oh my gosh, it's just ripping its brains out. Yummy. And this is why I wanted to come and see all these raptor birds, these big heavy duty, heavy duty. Can you call a bird heavy duty? Have you seen some of those birds back there? <laughs> I'm sure we can. Some of these big birds that are hunters, like 
birds are These are cool. Oh, look. That's a bald eagle. Uh, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, no, that's a bald eagle, man. Uh, that's definitely not. <laughs> They're, They're in the eagles. same freaking cage. What are you talking about? There's no way. Ah. There's a bald eagle over there. There's one right there. Oh, right. It's an African fish eagle. So what's that one? Same thing. No. That looks like a bald eagle. Oh, I'm wrong. Well, that's disappointing. I was wrong. I thought that these were bald eagles because they look like bald eagles and they're actually African fish eagles. Last time I was here, uh, I was way zoomed in. Last time I was here, there was a bird perched right here eating a rat, just eating intestines. It was, it was super gross and super cool all at the same time. I love big birds. Yellow ones? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love big yellow birds. We just found the macaws back over here. The green one's hiding right there next to the pole, and then the red one's back there. Take a look at this. I come here a lot, and I've never heard this guy squawk as much as he has today. Oh, he's adorable. Anyway. <laughs> Snow cones? Snow cones. Snow cones. Here we go. There you go. Thanks, Mike. Mike, are you an every flavor type of guy? Mm -hmm. No, you just, you're one and done? Of course you get the pina colada. You sinner. <laughs> I think I'm gonna mix it up. I think I'm gonna do half blue and then do half purple. Sure, we'll call that good. One of the things I love doing after when I come to the zoo is always grabbing a snow cone. Oh, I just dropped some. I always love grabbing a snow cone. One thing y'all didn't see, because I forgot to hit record, was we actually met a dude over here at the Blue Macaw, actually. He's a fellow YouTuber. His name's Jose. 787 kayak fishing freak. Go check him out, give him a sub. Jose, welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching, man. What's your favorite snow cone flavor? Um, so I have- the Here, Get in the camera. What are you doing? It's always a toss up between uh, tiger's blood and wedding cake. Okay. Usually it ends up being wedding, wedding cake, but- yeah, Tiger feel, blood is if, good. If I fill in the, the fruit blood. flavors, I'm definitely tiger's blood. Tiger's blood is super good. What's your favorite flavor? Drop it in the comments below. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, Mr. McCaw. It's good to see you. Good to talk with you. You enjoy that tree bark that you're chomping on. So remember, at the end of it all, being creative is fun, but you still gotta rest. You still gotta take some time for you. You gotta enjoy what you do so you don't burn out on it. Because if you only work, if you only ever snap the photo for the gram, you're never going to be able to sustain your work. So remember, take a day to rest. If you take your camera everywhere with you, just next time, choose not to. You know, give yourself a break. Enjoy what inspires you. I'm Kyler. That's Michael. And uh, we're signing off for this one. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe. Jose, thanks for subscribing, man. If you like the music we use in our videos, click the link in the description and you can sign up and use audio.com for all of your audio needs, for all of your music needs. Go sign up for it. They're great. Not sponsored. Just an affiliate. See y'all next time, man. Have fun today. Peace.